Hey, what's going on there, everybody? This is Sammy Lager here representing Team JVS here to give you guys another review. I'm talking about American Fiction by Cord Jefferson. This is a standout cast. I'm talking about Jeffrey Wright, Issa Rae, uh, Tracy Ellis Ross, uh, who else? John Ortz, uh, Adam Brody, Leslie Uggams, um, Sterling K. Brown, like the list goes on and on. And like, this is an amazing cast, but the thing about an amazing cast is you got to have a great leader and Cord Jefferson establishes a story that is so interestingly engaging and raw, but yet two different types of things are going to happen. One group of people are going to feel, whoa. Oh, wow, I can't believe that's so bold. And then the other group of people are going to be like, yes, this this is this is real. Do you do you really actually get it? And I love that. Like, this is one of the best films this year. And honestly, one of the best performances from Jeffrey Wright this year. Even honestly, I mean, the whole entire cast is great. Sterling K. Brown delivers a Oscar worthy um supporting actor uh, performance as well. But interesting thing about Jeffrey Wright's character, Monk, he's a novelist and he basically is tired of the, the entertainment establishment of how they're pandering to the black experience of how we gain our entertainment through the Suda, um, process of how we we entertain ourselves with our blackness so to speak and he kind of goes and writes this book and kind of makes fun of it and it becomes well-established bestseller and he doesn't know what to do with that while at the same time simultaneously he is going through every single different thing that most of us like have to kind of deal with from a case-to-case -case basis with our own families and those relationship, uh, those relationship struggles and trials that he's going through in this movie are so raw and cemented and important. Um, it, it leaves a very interesting foundation to why his story is the refining story, as opposed to all these fantastical things that he's writing about. This is one of the better written films this year from a from a scripting standpoint is almost near genius. Because if you just focus on just the things that he's dealing with, if, if you never saw what he was dealing with from the written standpoint and those outcomes, this would be a serious drama. And then if you take just what he's dealing with, with the novelist aspect and all these different things, you would think this is a pure, insane comedy that works so both simultaneously themes work very well, but one of them I want to establish is that the relationship with the family is so important and so real. Like his relationship with his mother um, is a very fascinating one um, because it's riddled with a lot of pain and a lot of struggle, but then it creates a paradigm shift when it comes to relationship with his brother and his sister and the surrounding relationships that he has. Um, Erica Alexander plays a really great job as his his love interest in, in Coraline, because Coraline like, likes his original books and she finds it very fascinating where everybody else looks at him like he's a jerk, like he's so um, into himself, like he's disconnected. She breaks all those different barriers. Whereas then you look at the other side of that his relationship with Tracy Ellis Ross, Lisa, and uh, Sterling K. Brown's Clifford, like his brother and sister, like they don't know him. They don't connect with him. And it's it's a wall that he's kind of created because he's a byproduct of the, the generational issues that he hasn't gotten over. And it's so well established. It's so well executed. Um, and their performances together, like it's just magic. Like watching them together is literally looking at like magic. Like this is one of the best ensembles this year. But I think that some of the themes and the small moments, like if you talk about like, like Sterling K. Brown's um, character Cliff and what he's trying to internalize within himself and what he's trying to articulate to his family that he, he couldn't before because of certain uh, stigmas. 
And then Tracy Ellis Ross character, Lisa, what she's doing and how she's handling certain things around the house, like how normal and how, how un, un, unbelievable those situations are, but they, they happen. This is one of the best films this year, but it seems at times some people are going to get it for different reasons. I highly recommend you go and check it out. Highly recommend you go and see what American fiction is all about. Go and check it out. 10 out of 10. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, people.